All right, sterile back again. Uh, this right here is a, one of my swarms that I caught the other day. Uh, it's outgrowed the, uh, the five frame uh, nuke box that I got it in. So what I'm gonna do is transfer it over into a 10 frame hive. Uh, I popped the top on it a while ago and looked through it, one frame of it and figured out that it needed to be uh, put in a bigger box. And the way I always go about it, if she's laying on the outside frames, then uh, she's fixing to be too big for that box, for the five frame box. So I move them to a 10 frame box. So this is how I do it. Uh, some other people might do a little different than I do, but this is how I do it. So, uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I put the hive back in the same spot that it was in. I try to keep the frames in the same order. I got a couple bees out here that's being a little pissy. But not too terribly bad. So if you see me put my hood on, I know that's unusual, but I don't feel like getting stung in the face today. But I try to keep my uh, my frames in order by the way I take them out. You can see, maybe to zoom in on it, there's the eggs already on the outside frame. Right. And this right here, this they've been in this nuke for maybe a week and a half. And you can see they've already, that was a, a frame that had just had just regular foundation that hadn't been drawn out or nothing else. And you can see at all the pollen they've been bringing in. So they're doing really, really good. So what I like to do, I'll put an empty frame of just regular foundation on the outside. And I'll put one of theirs in. Slide another piece of foundation over, or a frame with just foundation in it. See how to drop that out real good? A lot of drone seals in that one front and back a little crazy comb right there but I'm not really worried about it lots of drones they must have figured they needed them now what I normally like to do is I'll take my center frames that are in this box they're normally going to be the ones with your, your most your uh your brood stuff on it. She's doing beautifully. That's all capped uh, worker brood with a little bit of honey on the top. Look at that side. Beautiful. This was a really, really good swarm right here. Now I'll take this and I'll try to put those two center frames side by side. Lots of worker brood. Some cap, some in the larva stage. Let's see if I can grab this right quick. This is cap worker brood right here. And you can see the larva around the outside. It's getting to the stage where they're almost to the point where they're gonna start capping it. And then of course there's honey on the tops and around the sides. This is the other side of it. That's all worker brood. This is all in the larva stage right here. There's some crazy cone building going on right there. See if we can't get rid of that. She's doing really, really good. That whole frame's laid out. So I always put these, the two center ones, or the two closest to the center, I'll put them together. And then this outside frame. This is laid up too. That's the cat, Oka Brood. 
both sides. Looks good. I broke through these frames. I didn't even look to see if I seen the queen anywhere. I marked her the other day with some orange paint. Y'all might have seen her. She might be in the box. Or they might have cleaned her off. I don't see it, just, there she is right there. I put a little orange dot on her the other day. And sometimes even with the orange dot, they're hard to find. Because the other bees cover them up and stuff. So she's a big old pretty, some people would call her tiger strike. So, uh, there you go. And then of course you're gonna have bees in the box. So your best bet is just to turn it over and give it a smack. Of course you're gonna get all the dirt and everything else out of the box. But then you just put the top back on it. I built these migratory covers. I think I might have got them a little tight. So there you go. The rest of the bees that are left in the hive, you just smack them on the ground and they'll come out of the box. So there you go. That's how I move a five frame nuke to a 10 frame box hope y'all are all doing good uh please like and subscribe if you got any questions on this just put them in the comments below uh give me a thumbs up uh thanks out for everybody that has been commenting on my page it's really growing now i think we're around 700 subscribers which is good uh like i said if y'all got any questions on anything just let me know and as always we'll see you on the next one